statement from your National Weather Service. Issued at 1.30 p.m., the National Weather Service in Sterling, Virginia has activated the Skywarn Amateur Radio Network. Thunderstorms across central Virginia and lower southern Maryland will be capable of reducing damaging wind gusts, hail and isolated tornadoes. The primary net frequency is 147.300 MHz. Spotters are encouraged to relay any severe weather reports to the National Weather Service. And now a special weather statement from your National Weather Service. Issued at 2.36 p.m., strong thunderstorms to affect Charles, King George, Prince William, Monassas and Monassas Park, Stafford, Prince George's, St. Mary's, Fairfax, Spotsylvania and Calvert Counties. At 2.37 p.m., Doppler radar indicated strong thunderstorms along the line extending from Potomac Heights to 3 miles northwest of Gatewood, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Potomac Creek, Massaponics, St. Charles, La Plata and Waldorf. Storm intensity is increasing, and severe weather may develop rapidly. Remain alert, and be prepared to take action, if warnings are issued. Heavy rain with these storms, will reduce visibilities to below one mile, and may cause ponding of water on roadways. Wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour, and small hail can't be expected with these storms. Winds as strong can bring down large tree branches. Take shelter until the storms have passed. This is a statement from the National Weather Service. For the following counties, in Pennsylvania, Adams, and York. Wind advisory now in effect from 4 p.m. this afternoon to 7 a.m. Saturday. Winds southwest to west 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Timing. The highest wind gusts will start within a few hours after the cold front passes late this afternoon or early this evening and will continue through tonight. Impacts. Gusty winds will down small limbs and may blow loose objects around. Isolated power outages are possible, but not likely. A wind advisory means that sustained winds of 31 to 39 miles per hour or gusts of 46 and 57 miles per hour are expected. Winds as strong may cause minor property damage without extra precautions. Motorists and high-profile vehicles should use caution until the wind subsides. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio for further details or updates. This is a statement from the National Weather Service. For the following counties, in Maryland, Kent and Queen Anne's, Wind advisory in effect from 5 p.m. this afternoon to 4 a.m. Saturday. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly has issued a wind advisory, which is in effect from 5 p.m. this afternoon to 4 a.m. Saturday. Winds west 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts around 45 miles per hour. Timing. West winds will increase late this afternoon and this evening. The strongest wind gusts are expected between 6 o'clock p.m. and 1 o'clock a.m., and winds could start to diminish a bit toward 4 o'clock a.m. Impacts, strong wind gusts can knock down tree limbs and possibly some weaker trees, and isolated power outages may occur. The winds will make it difficult to drive high-profile vehicles, especially on bridges and other elevated roadways. Motorists should use extra caution, especially those in high-profile vehicles. Lightweight outdoor objects such as patio furniture and garbage cans should be secured. Severe weather safety rules. Damaging thunderstorms are possible this afternoon and early evening across central Virginia and lower southern Maryland. Residents across these locations should monitor the situation very closely and ensure your no weather radios are set to alert mode. Severe weather warnings may become necessary. Here are some safety rules to keep in mind when severe weather is expected or is occurring. If a warning is issued, seek shelter indoors immediately. A severe thunderstorm is defined as producing quarter size or greater hail and wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or more. Tornadoes often form very rapidly from severe thunderstorms. If you are in a tornado watch and a severe thunderstorm warning is issued for your area, monitor local conditions closely and be ready to take quick action to save your life. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio or television for the latest on this potential severe weather event. Additional weather information can be found at weather.gov slash Washington or weather.gov Baltimore. A statement from the National Weather Service. Expect scattered showers through 3.30 p.m. with rumble or two of thunder possible. Winds may gust to 25 miles per hour in any shower. Much stronger wind gusts over 40 miles per hour will reach the area late this afternoon or evening. A statement from the National Weather Service. Through 4 p.m., scattered showers, possibly a thunderstorm will continue to develop and move east across the region. Most of the rainfall will be light with amounts under one-tenth of an inch expected. Motorists are urged to exercise caution as roadways will be wet and slick in spots. A 
statement from the National Weather Service. Through 4 p.m., an area of showers and isolated thunderstorms will... A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 3.45 p.m. for Anne Arundel, Prince George's, Calvert, St. Mary's, and Charles Counties. At 2.51 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar continued to indicate a severe thunderstorm capable of producing hail up to the size of quarters and damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. This storm was located near St. Charles, or near Waldorf, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Bryantown, Brandywine, Baden, Aquasco, Eagle Harbor, Dunkirk, Sunderland, Huntingtown. This is a dangerous storm. If you are in its path, move indoors to a sturdy building and stay away from windows. When it is safe to do so, report severe weather to local law enforcement or to the National Weather Service. This is a dangerous storm. If you are in its path, prepare immediately for damaging wind gusts, large hail and frequent cloud to ground lightning. Move indoors to a sturdy building and stay away from windows. A tornado watch is in effect for the warned area. Tornado watch number 38 remains in effect until 8 o'clock p.m. for the following county, Calvert County, Maryland, and Chesapeake Bay from North Beach to Drum Point, Maryland. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and, and close to the wash area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And now a special weather statement from your National Weather Service. Issued at 1.30 p.m., the National Weather Service.